Node.js now have a built-in SQLite database. We used to have another package called SQLite 3 to work with the SQLite database in you know, Node.js. Node.js now provide a SQLite database by default. So let's go ahead and create a file here. We're going to call this uh, db.ts. Import, I'm going to say database sync, and that's going to be from Node SQLite. And here we're just going to say const database is equals to new database sync. Now here we would either do this syntax and it's called memory or in a file. In case a file, we just have to provide the file path. Let's see how we can interact with our database. We're going to say database dot exec and we're going to be using template string inside our template string. We will just write our SQL statements. So we're going to say create table and we'll call this data. And this data will have two columns. We're going to say key, which will be type of integer. It will be primary key value and it's going to be type of text. Now let's go ahead, prepare our insert statement. So we're going to say cons insert database dot prepare. And here we can write a SQL statement. So you're going to say insert into the data table. We can pass in the column names, so the key and value, and then the values like so. And now we can run this. So we can just basically say insert run. Let's go ahead and give a key, which is going to be one text value for the first one is going to be hello. So this two, once we run this file, this two will insert this key and values to our SQL database in our memory. Let's also query that const query, another prepared statement Do select everything from data order by key. And then let's go ahead and console.log query dot all, which is a function. There you go. We can see that the two key and value now coming from our database. 